speaker. A day built to make history, but it was not to be. The first proposed constitutional amendment since the adoption of the constitution did not meet the threshold. The amendment needed 75 percent or 267 of votes to get the green light. 145 members voted against and 204 members voted in support of the bill. As the required majority has not been obtained in terms of section 74, subsection 2 of the constitution, the bill will not be read a second time. Earlier, the ad hoc committee report on the proposed amendment was also opposed by the opposition. We are not worried about uh, those who are not uh, supporting uh, this bill, but we are quite confident that uh, with or without them, the ANC is going to uh, make the land available to the people. Opposition parties have rejected the bill for different reasons. The EFF wants the land under state custodianship, which the ANC rejects, while the FF Plus and the DA insist the bill will erode property rights and scare off investors. There is no need to amend Section 25, and this bill falls foul of the constitutional test. The current bill makes meaningless provision for the state to be a custodian of certain land and does not define what this certain land is. This bill, if adopted, will not change land ownership patterns. The process has been used as a political tool. This will be unconstitutional and in direct conflict with the current provisions of Section 25.2b and 25.3 of the South African Constitution. It is not necessary to amend Section 25 of the Constitution, as the Constitution case in restitution of that act. It protects property rights and also recognizes the need for the restoration of rights to those who have been dispossessed of their land. We are satisfied that our voice was heard and that the bill is in its current form. In its current form does not put a time limit on the unfair dispossession of land. We hold a strong and uncompromising view that passing this bill would be the biggest sellout, that, sellout action that this parliament would have done. International property law, which binds South Africa, recognizes nil composition. It is against this background that we support the wording on the bill of nil compensation as it is, is this practice, it will mean the same as expropriation without compensation. From now, it's back to the drawing board to see if a revised bill can be brought back to the table. Ulelani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.